The most important piece of advice I could give to a woman considering a career in technology is really simple. Believe in yourself and just do it. You should follow your dreams and if somebody turns around to you and says that you can't do something because of your gender, then you should just prove them wrong. Whether you're looking to start your career or you've been in another career and want to move into technology, you know, it's never too late and it's never too early to start. Just really go for it. Contact local companies, get involved in local technology events across all the major cities in the UK now. There's a constant stream of events pushing for women in tech. They're great to get there and network and meet new people. That's the biggest advice I'd really give people is just, just get out there and do it. And if you're ever stuck around anything, just give us a shout here at RAPL. We'll do whatever we can to help out. Uh, there are a lot of times that as a woman in tech, you will be the only woman, woman in the room or maybe even the only woman in your team. But you have to remember that actually that's an awesome thing and you are actually bringing something different to the table. Yeah, just be yourself. Um, the career in tech is an ocean of, op ocean of opportunities. Um, so there is something for everybody out here. It's not someone sitting with a laptop and coding as the stereotype states. It's something completely different. And with my 15 years of experience, I've been completely in the technical field but I have never coded so there's uh, massive, massive opportunities and uh, I think everyone should go and grab it. The tech industry is so big you can work in recruitment you can work in HR you can work in marketing and still work in tech um, but even more specifically than that I work as a business analyst um, I'm not from a technical background at all um, but my skills that I've built up throughout my career have still been useful in the role that I work in so from the outside you might say that I work in tech um, but actually it's not as if I'm sat there coding all day and, and working in tech does not mean that. I think a lack of self-belief is the biggest limiting factor to your own career choices.